Hi, my name is Ray Lam. I'm the executive director for the Vancouver Pratt Society. I'm here with the BMW store today, one of our bronze sponsors, and I'm here to tell you a bit about Vancouver Pride and what we do. The Vancouver Pride Parade has been around for 37 years. And I remember the first parade that I was involved with. That year, we had a record number of attendees. It was 124,000 people attending the parade. And we had 20 volunteers managing the parade route and the festival site. And this included, I believe, about 12 board members. Since then, it's been quite a, quite a substantial growth for the society. We now have approximately 1,500 volunteers in our database, and now we're up to 650,000 spectators. Every year with the Parade and Festival, what we've been doing is adding more free features to it, and that's a credit to our partners because they're coming on board and supporting all these really great initiatives at our events. This year, the BMW store provides us with a few vehicles for our Grand Marshals, and the Grand Marshals for the Parade are basically publicly nominated individuals are selected by a committee of community members and volunteers that represent our theme for the year. This, this BMW vehicle is actually for one of our Grand Marshals, Roan Reimer, this year. And Roan is an amazing youth. Last year, uh, when they were in grade 12, they actually wrote the policy on uh, trans inclusivity at the Vancouver School Board. One of our goals is to highlight and elevate the work that people are doing. So Top 20 or 20 focuses on 20 youth under the age of 20, uh, mostly high school age youth and the work that they're doing within their communities to promote LGBT rights and to promote equality and inclusive spaces. And the Love BMW Vancouver program, that is going to be funding that campaign. The Grand Marshals are the leaders of our community. They're leading the parade and they're leading the march. Having BMW as the beginning of the parade to really carry these Grand Marshals through gives us a lot more prestige and a lot more impact when people see them coming through the parade. We've always maintained the policy of two-thirds of the parade have to be non-profit, community-oriented um, grassroots groups. Vancouver Pride has been very good in maintaining the two-thirds rule to ensure that our community is represented. Because at the end of the day, it's a celebration of our community and it's a reminder of how much work we still need to do. The Vancouver Pride Society is not an event producer. We're a human rights organization. We're advocating for LGBT rights and equality and we're bringing people together for that, for that cause. And we use events as our medium to bring people together to spread that message and to promote equality and tolerance in the community.